Welcome back to the Factor Uncensored. Soon, travel is about to be less of a headache for flyers out there. A new rule from the Department of Transportation promises to get your money back if your flight is canceled or delayed. This means flyers are required to receive automatic cash refunds within seven business days. And if customers want their money back, vouchers or travel credits won't cut it. My next guest has more on the big news. And joining us on the Factor on Censor tonight, we have with us Leah Napoliello, who is with the Better Business Bureau here in Houston. This is some good news for travelers out there, Leah, who may face delayed flights. So tell us what the Biden administration has ruled and the new changes in place that will benefit flyers out there. Sure. So there are new rules now for consumers who are flying on airlines. Basically, they are saying that you will have to, you know, if the airline is canceled or your flight is canceled or delayed in any way, then you can actually get a full cash refund rather than a voucher or anything like that. So that's a great deal. Also, if there's any issues with your bags being delayed, not getting to your destination in a timely fashion, then you can get a cash refund for that as well. So that is really a, a big deal for consumers. And how did we get to this point? Is it because maybe we saw all of these delays around the country, all of the problems we had in the past, and now uh, the Biden administration, Department of Transportation, saying to the airline industry, if you screw up, you're going to have to pay for it. It's coming out of your pocket. Right, exactly. There have been so many issues with flights over the last couple of years with the staffing shortages and sometimes the weather that consumers are really having a hard time dealing with all of these changes. So it's caused a big burden for consumers. So this is a good opportunity for them to get their money back if they have to face these challenges in the future. No, we know it is instant money back now, not instant money back, but you have to get a refund, not a voucher or credit. In the past, though, wasn't there something similar to this in place with the airlines? If you knew about the rule that if your flight was significantly delayed or canceled, then you can go and request, I guess, a voucher or credit. Right. Yeah, they, you could request vouchers or credits in some cases, but sometimes it could be a, a long while before you could get that money back or sometimes there might be issues with it. But now this creates a situation where you can more easily get your refund in case there is a cancellation or delay or an issue with your baggage or even if, you know, if there are extra fees that were um, you paid for in-flight entertainment or Wi-Fi and you didn't get that, you could even get a refund for that as well. So it makes the whole process easier for the consumer. And do we know how soon this will uh, uh, get into place, enacted by the uh, Biden administrations and by the airlines, how soon they will activate this new policy? It should be, according to what the Department of Transportation said, like about six to 12 months. So it will be over the, over the next year anyway. All right. We want to thank you for joining us and updating us on these new rules for the airlines. Obviously, it's good news for the consumers out there, especially those who fly a lot and have faced a lot of delays as a result of these airlines and some of their problems. But we want to thank you for joining us here on the Factor Uncensored tonight.